Welcome to day 362 of our DSO journey. I'm Ed Krasenstein here with my twin brother, Brian. Remember these videos are being sponsored by NFT Tech. They are an investor in CloudFeed. And this, this anniversary is coming up, Brian. And the list of guests just keeps growing and growing and growing. There's going to be virtual guests who can watch it through the virtual feed. But also dozens are attending the event. I think it's probably over 60 some now. Uh, yesterday, Goldberry announced that she's going to be going. So that's awesome. She's going to be able to perform live on stage at the event. Uh, you know, I, I just think that that's amazing that she's going to be able to go. If you want to see Goldberry perform live, you might want to go to the event. It's, you can still reserve your spot by going to the so this I can't say this the anniversary. Uh, so and clicking on the Eventbrite link and you can reserve your spot. And if you have guests that want to go as well, you can just register for them as well. Yeah, I no matter what, it's going to be a great event. Uh, it's just when you get all those DSO people together, collaborating, uh, talking about the future of DSO, it's, it's always fun. It's always something you don't want to miss. Uh, we took part in two meetups, the so one in Miami, of course, back in, I think it was May. And then we went to... Uh, the uh, DSO giving in uh, New York City uh, at giving. Dr. Cat Cohen's house. What's that? Clouds yeah. giving. Clouds giving. But yeah, both events were just incredible. Um, it the 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 ambience doesn't matter as much as the people, but the ambience on this is going to be awesome because Matreshka and and everybody else behind the team they've been they've been working their butts off to make sure this is going to be a really fun thing to for everybody that attends. Yeah, for sure. So yesterday, Dow Dow, they removed their key slash password that's required to get in and buy, buy and learn about Dow Dow and buy the NFTs. So guests coming on no longer need to go into the Discord and ask for the password because it's removed. Yeah, uh, I I think maybe maybe it's because some of the uh, <laughs> the new funds have been kind of drying up. You haven't seen as many people aping into the NFTs probably just because they feel they have more time now since it's delayed like a month or two. But the password's gone. It's, it's easier for you to share it. Uh, if you want to tell somebody about Dow Dow, just tell them DowDow.io. You don't have to give them the password, tell them how to log in and all that. So I, I, I like it. I, I think the password added kind of like an air of mystique to, to it all and made people kind of want to want to figure it out, feel like they're special. But but now that it's been open for about a month or so, I, I, I think that the password going away is not a bad idea. Yeah, I agree. And another news, Antra, the node Antra, has hired a new content and community manager, Hana. Her DSO username is Han Van, H-A-N-V-A-N. So definitely go and welcome her to DSO and to Antra. Um, I think it's awesome. Yeah, it's like any new developer for any node is kind of like a developer, not developer, employee for a new node is kind of like an employee for all DSO because they're helping you spread the word about DSO. So somebody that comes on uh, to act as a community manager for Antra is kind of acting as a community manager for DSO in a way because they're going to help manage a lot of D new DSO users coming on the platform. So I love hearing this. Uh, of course, all the Octane funded projects, they're high, many are hiring. Uh, and all those people, are, in a way, are working for DSO. Yeah, and so welcome Hanvan to DSO. Uh, Sean Slater yesterday, he's a DSO OG, he made a suggestion. So right now, they've moved the reference front end to node.dso.org from BitCloud. So BitCloud.com is no longer the reference used for GitHub and used for, you know, when you make, when changes are made to the front end. So BitCloud essentially isn't needed for anything right now since we have node.dso.org. So his suggestion is that he should, that bitcloud.com should be turned over to the community and the community should be able to develop it without any interference or any involvement from the core team. I think I really like I, the idea. I know uh, several people replied saying they really, really thought that was an awesome idea. I think they should do a DAO. Why not make the BitCloud DAO? And well, you buy BitCloud DAO and you own part of BitCloud.com. Well, well, so here's the thing. They actually talked about that. Uh, I think it was uh, I think it was Dylan, Dylan Jagger Lee in one of the community hangouts 
actually mentioned that the core team was thinking about turning BitCloud into its own DAO and basically handing it over to the community via whoever buys the DAO coins that they can manage it. So I think this is actually something that's already being talked to talked about. Uh, what Sean's talking about uh, might not involve a DAO, but a DAO would be a really efficient way of doing it so that maybe hundreds of people could actually be owners of bitcloud.com. And if they can figure out a way to monetize it, they can share in the revenue stream or the profit stream. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's being talked about, being discussed by the core team already. So uh, Sean's suggestion might actually be uh, more than just a suggestion, because it might already be something with the, in progress. I think it would be great having the whole community work on the node together, you know? Right. Uh, what else is happening today, Brian? So yeah, so Simp uh, and Locore, they launched uh, a project called Right Click. And Right Click, the way they describe it, is a living, breathing, DSO meme library. Uh, and, and they basically say, why, why should profile pick NFTs be where it ends? Like everybody's excited about buying an NFT so you can display it as a profile pick. But what about owning an entire meme, te meme template? So like what right click is, is they're creating all these meme templates. And you know what a meme template is. It's just like a, a blank template with no text, but imagery in the background, like drawings or whatever. And users can use those as templates for the memes that they wanna fill text in for. So you could actually, what they're doing is they're creating a bunch of these templates. Uh, at, you can see them all at right click dot or at, yeah, the website rightclick.nftz.zone. Uh, you can list, see the whole list of them all. They're selling these templates. I think they're about a DSO, about $30 each. And the cool thing is that if people start using these templates and let, like others are gonna actually own the NFT of it. So the more they're used, the more value your NFT should have because it's being seen. Like imagine some of the, like the best of memes out there and owning the template for their, for those memes. That would be pretty cool as an NFT. So that's that's what right click is. I love the idea. I, I think they're on to something with this. Uh, and just check it out. Check it out and see what they're working on. It is a really cool and unique idea. I, I'm going to give it a check out. I'm done with this video. Uh, Raj Lahodi made a post yesterday. He actually made a few posts over the last day or so. Uh, he made a post saying that he is gifting an NFT to Salil Sethi. Uh, he's so thankful of Salil and everything he's done for the DSO community. He's gifting him a friendly panda. And uh, friendly pandas are an NFT project that Raj has been really involved in. Uh, he's been taking part in some Twitter spaces. Uh, he owns multiples of these. I know the friendly panda series, they were free to mint. So like right when they launched, I think it was back in September, anybody could mint one for free. And so 10,000 of them were minted and now they're being sold in the secondary market. I think they're going for around 0 0.07 ETH, around $216 or so. He gifted one to Salil Sethi. And he also said next week, he's gifting a friendly panda to another DSO ambassador. And he asked the community who this person should be. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, you know, I love what Roger's doing. He's always about gifting things and he continues to do so. Uh, also, Matreska replied saying, you should come to the DSO anniversary on Saturday in LA because Raj of course lives out in LA and he's going to NFT's LA. And if NFT LA, which is I think like two days after the DSO event, Matreska said he should go. He didn't reply, but he did repost it. So I don't know if that means that he has reserved his spot he has registered for the event or not hopefully he has because i'd love to see raj again yeah we've he was at the other two major events in new york and in uh, miami so he should try and make it out to this one if he can uh but yeah and uh talking about salil sethi um open prosper had a, a big announcement this morning uh they launched something they called diso birthdays and basically what it does is it shows every day the one year birthdays of the users on DSO. So whoever signed up one year ago today, it will be shown on DSO birthdays. Now they have it segmented in two sections. Uh, the first section is users who have been active in the last 15 days. And the last I checked, I think the number was like 38 people who are active in the last 15 days signed up one year ago today. So that's really cool. Now, if you look at 
the inactive users who are celebrating birthdays today. So those who signed up on March 23rd, 2021, who are celebrating a birthday today, there's 2,362. So there's almost 80 times as many inactive as there are active users on DISA right now from that, from that one year mark. Kind of, kind of something to think about. How can we get those people to come back? Because if we can get those people to come back, celebrate their birthday, that would be, that would be a good idea. Uh, but just so, some of the birthdays that, that he mentioned. Um, and just, just to clarify, birthday is not really a birthday. It's their birth on DSO. So right. one their year, birthday on the DSO blockchain. One year uh, since they joined DSO. Uh, Nordian was one of them. Ready Player One, Careerin and Bobby Digital 42. Also, Gabby made a post saying that it was her birthday, her DSO birthday today. Uh, so congrats to her as well. I'm guessing that it was maybe a day off or something from what Open Prosper You're has. You're not going to so, do your spinny thing today. So yeah, I am actually going to do this to celebrate all, all 38 of the active birthdays, not the inactive ones. I'm not celebrating the 2,362 inactive ones. Just this is to the 38 people right here. And since, since Salil added this DSO birthday page, I hope that I'm not going to have to do this every single day. Because I think I'm going to have to oil, oil my machine. And I don't know like how you'd oil this. Would you use motor oil or butter or margarine, olive oil, or uh, Vaseline, maybe, maybe just grease from a grease gun. I, I don't know. So I don't want to have to deal with all that. So we might not do this every day. But uh, we'll do it every now and then. Yeah, so what were the top hashtags of yesterday, Brian? Number one was DSO. Number two, NFT. Number three, Horoscope. I think that was the first time that's ever been there. Number four, music. And number five, crypto. So and I can explain why Horoscope was up there. There's apparently there's different Horoscope accounts that have been created, such as Daily Virgo, Daily Leo, Daily Scorpio, Daily Gemini, Daily... All the all the uh, all the signs, and each one of them is posting the daily horoscope for that sign with the hashtag horoscope. So that's why that many are up there. That's why they're in the in the uh, hashtag feed on Open Prosper. And I assume this is probably going to happen every day now. I guess we'll wait. Well, that's a great way to get some publicity via Open Prosper's hash hashtag list. Yeah, for um, sure. But yeah, so let's move on to the top earning accounts. Uh, once again, Dow Dow was number one. Uh, of course, yesterday they dropped out of the number one spot. But in total, there are $4,155 earned on DSO in the last 24 hours uh, by 879 different creators. This is a little below average, I think, but uh, about where it's been. Uh, nine creators earned at least one DSO, three creators earned 10 DSO. Uh, Dow Dow was number one. Uh, they earned $1,949. What's that? Back on top. Back on top. Back in the number one spot. Uh, Gatherer was number two, followed by Seals, Clout Punk, Unicat, Wildography, QTNYC, Overclout, Right Click, who we just talked about earlier, and Lost Robots. So congrats to those 10 people who made the list this, this day. Yeah, congratulations. And for the community events today at 11 a.m. Eastern Time on Clubhouse, we have Crypto Ladies on the Mic. This one's focused around power of human intelligence. And of course, this is with DSO Chats, Miss Katie Ann, Michelle Lord, and Clout Women Unite, like always. Um, these rooms are awesome. You go into the room, the first hour is all women on stage. And then after the first hour, they invite the men up to take part in the discussion. They, they go so well. I love these rooms. At 1 p.m. Eastern time on Clubhouse is Baby Rhino Rescue Closing Auction. So that's with Saving the Survivors, Wildography, French Connector, Rhubarb, Miss Katie Ann, and Michelle Lord. Uh, it's a closing auction. It's a charity auction. Definitely get there if you can and take part at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Then at 10.30 p.m. Eastern time, is that right? It's this late? The DSO Community know. Hangout with Alex Vilaitis? On Entra? I, I mean, that's what that's what you're saying. So, uh, well, I'm just going by what Miss Katie Ann's saying. Ten thirty seems late, but uh, I'm not going to argue with it. Uh, I, I don't really see anywhere where it says where this can be found. But uh, we'll we'll make a correction in the notes if it's if it's incorrect. But I, it right. could be ten thirty. I mean, that's seven thirty Pacific time, and and 
maybe they want to target a different area of the of the world. All right. Well, I think that's all the news we have for today. And we'll talk to you tomorrow.